Hello, this is Prince of Somnia, and welcome back to Let's Play The Lost Stage. Last time, we made it here to the Islet Cave, and as you can see, I've done quite a good bit of level grinding now. Everyone has well over a thousand HP, except for Pierce, who has like 800, but whatever. Okay, maybe not well over a thousand HP, but uh, still. So yeah, this is, uh, these are how my stats are looking right about now for the main four up here. We're doing pretty good on offense. Everyone still has the same equipment, uh, by the way. And there's Ivan. He's one level away from learning the best magic spell in the game. Uh, well, one of the best, anyway. Uh, and I'm not going to level grind him any more than that, because it's going to take a long, a long time. And uh, between this super dungeon and the next super dungeon, he's probably going to get enough experience to do that. Because, uh, well, we've still got one more super dungeon to go. And oh, I'll, ex <clears throat> I'll explain more about what awaits us in there. But anyway, now it's time face off against this guy. The Guardian of Wind, apparently. Alright, it's boss time against Sentinel. Hey, okay, let's see. Sentinel is actually one of the very, very few enemies, much, uh, enemies, regardless of whether it's boss or not, that's weak to Earth Element. Which means Megiddo is probably the best way to go here. Um... Unfortunately, he does slightly resist wind, so I'm gonna have a little trouble there with you. Um, off screen during level grinding, Garrett learned Quick Strike, which is pretty much going to supplant the fact that he doesn't have uh, the Excalibur's Legend on him. Quick Strike does pretty good damage for uh, Samurai, so that's pretty nice. Let's see, Ancient Spear. Um, Piers over the level grinding finally learned Pure Wish, which restores 400 HP to the whole party. That's going to be instrumental to my uh, continued survival into the future. Uh, but for now, I think I'll just have him attack. This guy is much more straightforward than some of the other super bosses we've had to fight so far. Um, but unfortunately, this does mean that he's a little bit more annoying. Uh, he's got a slight amount of HP and PP regen. Uh, as well as uh, several wind elemental abilities uh, and the break synergy. But fortunately, we've got the power of the Soul Blade! It's like sunny day except more death. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, let's just boost our attack power. I think that might, yeah, reduce my defense. I think we'll be fine. This guy also attacks like three times in a single round, so that's kind of annoying. Uh, but fortunately, he has a lot less HP than Valukar did. Uh, he's only got about 9,000. Not over 9,000, it's actually slightly under. But that HP regen is why you want to keep uh, hammering him constantly. Let's see. More Angel Spear. I'm, only I'm still going to use Angel Spear, even though he might just break me. Uh, because, uh, well, a turn wasted on break a turn where he's not murdering me, so that's pretty good. Nice job, Felix. There we go. Unfortunately, everyone has so much HP at this point that I'm probably going to have to start using Pure Wish all the time. Yeah, there he goes. He broke my uh, buffs. But fortunately, he also just broke the defense drop that... Oh, nuts. Uh, the defense drop that... Isaac just had, so that's pretty nice. Let's see, attack, attack. You just keep going with Angel Spear. Um, you're not going to do anything more useful anyway. And let's break him. First, I'm going to break your boss. Then, I'm going to break your neck. Huh? D dissipated my What? Oh, is he immune to break? I hope not. That'd be sh supremely shitty. I like how Pyrrhus is technically weak to win, and he took less damage than everyone else did. <laughs> 10 out of 10 right there. Freaking 5 stars. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's go Pure Wish. Pyrrhus needs the help there. Uh, anytime you want to unleash Felix, that'd be great. Uh, I'm guessing this guy's like immune to synergy or something. That's probably the gimmick behind this, but... I don't know, I never really do anything else other than physically attack him. I wish I was immune to break. You know how awesome that would be? Let's see. Uh, well, that would be 
Brokenly Obscene. I mean, Brokenly Obscene is awesome. Love how they bring back the uh, Deadbeard fight music for this boss fight. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Now. Fortunately, now we have enough healing to keep up with uh, all the damage Sentinel's gonna do to us. But that's the main reason why I did all that level grinding, is I just wanted Pierce to learn Pure Wish, which um, in his job class he'll learn at about level uh, 46, I believe. So yeah, I got him up there. I, I think everyone's like close to level 50 at this point, which is fine enough for the rest of the game. Uh, relatively speaking, there is one boss fight that I'm most likely going to have to cheese my way to victory through, because uh, even at much higher levels than what I'm at right now, that boss fight can be hard to take on legitimately, like without any summoning, so... And, and veterans of this game know who I'm talking about, so... I haven't decided what I'm gonna do, I might just decide to show them off the normal way, die, and then show them off the, re uh, the uh, cheap way. So yeah, that's probably what's gonna end up happening there. I don't think I can actually beat this guy, that guy legitimately, because I've never done it before in all of my playthroughs of the game. Really what I think it needs is like a bit of luck, a lot of strategy, and way higher levels than what I have right now. That boss is why I've been hoarding all of my mints this whole time, so... Apparently he can also use Searing Beam, which is weird. It's not really Wind Elemental, Mr. Wind Guardian. Three hits this time? Yay, three hits! Oh, he doesn't resist it? Oh, I thought he did. I would have assumed the Wind Guardian would resist wind if he was weak to Earth, but apparently not. This guy's pretty clever though, he's breaking this and then he's using Armor Crush. You know, he's smart enough to realize what that- Oh, wait, I thought Break removed that. Okay, well, apparently it doesn't remove debuffs then. That's kind of crap, I thought Break was more like a disruptive wave in the Dragon Quest series. I hate that ability so much. I really do. I just- I've just applied these buffs! Can they, like, stay applied? For ten minutes? Oh, whatever. Yeah, he's maxed out his defense, asshole. But yeah, this is pretty much the extent of my strategy for the rest of the game, to be honest. Legend, Megiddo, uh, Angel Spear, Pure Wish. Hey, it's effective! I mean, look at the kind of damage we're doing. This guy should be dead within a couple of rounds. Double Searing Beam, huh? And the Destruct Ray, damn. He really wants to be dead. Let's see, attack, attack. Angel Spear, and Pure Wish. If I really- Oh! Look, he's dead. I was about to say, if I really cared, I would farm Riot Gloves to boost my, uh, Unleashed chance even further, but I think we've got plenty. Well, that was easy. The level grinding helped a lot, by the way. Like, if I didn't have Pure Wish at this point, I'd probably be scrambling to heal myself. But now, we get the Summon Catastrophe! What's that? Yeah, Castro Pika? Is that what it is? <laughs> no, no, nowhere near as adorable as Castro Pika. Sorry, viewers. Uh, it requires 5 Jupiter and 3 Mars standby, Jenny. So there we go. Alright, so now we're done here, let's evac, or retreat. Now there is just one more super dungeon left to go.
Just the one. And it's the hardest one in the game. Featuring the hardest boss in the game. Quite possibly even in the series, actually, but... <sighs> I'm telling you, viewers, it's not gonna go well trying to fight that guy legitimately. But you'll see, you'll see. I'll, I'll just tell you one thing, viewers. That fight sure isn't gonna be dull. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, you don't get that yet, but you will. <laughs> but anyway, um, you, there's one more spot where we could use the teleport synergy to get into somewhere secret. Do you remember where that was? No? Well, I'll just tell you. It's Contigo. We need to go back there. Let's just split our particles into several parts and rematerialize over here. Let's see, I want to stop by the end first. We're gonna need it, viewers. And I'm probably gonna need to buy a couple waters of life too. Oh, you only have three available? Uh, yeah, give them all to him. Uh, you have game tickets. I'm not gonna use the game tickets anymore. Yeah, you only sold three of them. Oh, well. Three more waters of life is good. Right, so anyway, here is that teleport pattern I was just mentioning, so... Ivan, work your magic! Please pay no attention to the dematerializing group of teenagers. Oh, well, thank you for not freaking out. Hey, do you remember this music from earlier in the game? Um, what? Wait, there's treasure there? Oh, okay. I didn't know we could get treasure from there. Uh... Well, now I want to see how I can get the treasure. I want the shiny, viewers! We'll explore the super dungeon later. No one seems to care. What? Oh yeah, we, we get disappearing people all the time in this place. Uh, what are you talking about, man? Like, what? Whatever. How to get shiny. Oh. Yeah, I suppose not. Hmm. How do you get the shiny? Well, you know what? Now I've stopped caring. Yeah, now I've stopped caring. Alright, alright, let's just do the dungeon the way we're supposed to. Okay. I'll just look it up later. Um, or not at all if I don't particularly care by the time I'm done with this dungeon. Dungeon? Haha! <laughs> no, no. Uh, oh, we probably have to jump somewhere. No? Really? Interesting. Anyway, basically, the way this works is, each panel, you gotta step on them, and you have some weird flashing light show, uh, and if you have every single gin of that particular element in the game, you'll be able to progress further. So you need all 72 Jenny in order to get past here, by the way. So if you're missing any Jenny at all, and if you miss more than one Jenny of each element in the last game, you're screwed! Not that the rewards for going through here are particularly that great. I mean, you will be missing out on two summons. Because there's actually two uh, additional summons in this area, not just the one, but... Uh, I mean, like I said before... It's not as if you're missing anything all that important, and... You'll see. Oh look, it's the uh, Krakens from Earthbound again. Anyway, literally just for walking in here, we get the first of two summons. K 
Charon! I, I think that's how you pronounce it. You need 8 Venus and 2 Jupiter Genie to stand by. Uh, and I think it does really powerful Earth Elemental damage, so... I mean, if you want to use it, you can, but that's a lot of Genie to summon. To use to summon. Let's see what we got here. We got some Grave Whites. Let's see, these guys are we to fire! Isaac, that's not the ability I wanted to do. There we go, Isaac. Now you're getting the picture. Sort of. The enemies in this dungeon are some of the toughest in the game, by the way. So, watch out! Uh, I don't think we can do anything about that right now. Man, we're coming so close to the ending, though. Oh, Sky Dragons. I think we've seen these guys... Oh, I don't... Have we seen these guys before? Well, they're weak to wind, uh, and they can rarely drop the Excalibur. Or, not the Excalibur. No, no, that would be broken. They can drop the Aura Halcon, which can then be forged into the Excalibur. So, kill them with your best Wind Elemental Genie if you want to. If you so choose. That's over. Yeah, we'll be fine. Oh, this puzzle. Okay, yeah, so you see that thing there? It follows your every move. Sort of. But you gotta watch out, because it goes like in the opposite direction. At some point. If you can hear my controller right now. And I don't know why, but it just sounds very amusing. Yeah, these puzzles are also some of the most devious in the game, too. Yeah, I might need a guide for some of this crap, you know? Hard monsters, hard puzzles. That's why I call it the Super Dungeon. Well, okay, maybe the monsters aren't that hard, but that's because we're, like, we've got stacks jacked to shit, so... I mean, look at Felix, he has, like, nearly 800 attack power. Elevator, go up. Yeah, if it wasn't blatantly obvious that I have no idea what I am doing at this point. I'm just going through here. Uh, is there any particularly awesome treasures? There's like an Aura Halcon somewhere in here, as well as some Dark Matter and Dragon Skin, if you particularly care. But I'm not going to forge anything more. I think I'm pretty much finalized with what my equipment's gonna be. Unless someone has any particularly good recommendations for stuff I can forge at Elon. Oh wait, right, I can't take any recommendations because I'm recording straight through the end, aren't I? <laughs> Whoops. Well, whatever. <laughs> it, this is the price you pay, viewers, for, uh, for what I'm about to do. Oh, we got a bomb bander. Probably weak to water. Yep, like weak to water. Um, do we go downstairs? Ooh, shiny. Okay, where's the pitfall? Oh, okay. I was expecting a pitfall or a mimic. Apparently, this game's being nice today. It's using play nice instead of play rough. Oh boy. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Um, ba -ba -na -ba -ba. we can go that way, that way, that way. Ah, there's more than just those four. Oh, shit. Yeah, I screwed up. Okay, we're gonna have to go back. Back where? Back to the future, of course.
let's try this again. Yeah, I think that'll work. Haha! -ha! You are no match for me. There we go. And now I can push this back so we have an easy way back. Awesome. Die! So yeah, if you want to, you can form or uh, farm, form, farm or a Halcons off this guy uh, if you so choose. Probably isn't much I can Well I'm probably supposed to go downstairs right now, but now I'm just too curious. Alright, we're gonna do this this way. Oh yeah, that totally won't work, will it? Eventually, I'm gonna get stuck here. Okay, well, never mind. Let's go upstairs and see what's up there first. Nothing! Okay. Oh, let me guess, that was where I came from, wasn't it? I'm such an idiot, I can't believe I forgot that. Okay, whatever. <sighs> Hey, Megiddo is awesome and everything, but it does take a long time for that unleash animation to happen. out of the way then. And go north. Ah! I see. Okay. Uh, uh, this, if this was Dark Dawn, this would be so much easier. See, if this was Dark Dawn, I think I could just switch between the targets I was hitting with the move, but sadly this is not Dark Dawn, so I can't do that. Maybe not sadly, but still. Lift that, if you would, please. Alright, let's see. Hmm, where's this go, then? Ah, another one of these. So this puzzle is going to require some small amount of desync, isn't it? Oh god. Um, yeah. D. 
damn it. More than some amount, actually. either. Damn it! Right, okay. So, in order to solve this one, we need... Oop, that's not what I meant to do. I just hit the uh, right shoulder button by accident. Okay, let's see. Right, now we need to walk down. Supposedly, we should be able to do this easy. Yeah, there we go. Ta-da! Yeah, I had to look that one up. Sorry. But now things should be much easier in this uh, on this end. So. Okay. Right, now we need to go back to the boulder. Hey, if you thought that mimic puzzle was hard, <laughs> there's a harder one coming up soon. We'll get to that when we get to that, though. Right. Now, back to this room. Look at this room. Now, look back at me. That out of the way. And now we can push this over this way. Imagine, viewers, if that had actually happened. God. I'd be so pissed! Anyway, yeah, let's just clear that thing off. And now we can move this all the way over to the other end. Ever so slowly. Hata! Hata? No. Tada! Near, god damn. Well, whatever. It's not like I was really gonna make you good use of you anyway. Uh, this way? No. I always pick the dead ends first, and I don't know why. Okay, now, this is where things get tricky. Fortunately, this is also why I have a guide open. Uh, let's see, we need to go up. Right. Right and up. There we go. We need to go up, 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 and right. Up, up, left. Down, down, down. 
wow, that's a lot of instructions. Okay. Right. Up. Up. Okay, I see where we're going with this now. Ta-da! Hooray! Made it through. Alright. Now that that horrifying incident terror is over, uh, we should be good to go for the rest of this dungeon. Yeah, the mimic puzzles are the hardest puzzles in this place. And there's the Orhalcon. More Orhalcon! More! I won't stop it till I find it all! This looks uh, like a very promising room. Everything's gone symmetrical. Do you know what that means, viewers? It means it's something you're going to have to find out about next time on Let's Play The Lost Age. See you guys then.